Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 8. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the economy car open. Basically, it's an economy body style, which I'm still confused what the actual definition for economy body style is. Because city car is like your tiny thing. Hatchback is sort of like a bit bigger. And then you've got wagon and then SUV is like... What, what the hell is the actual definition of economy car? So... But, uh, anyways, Iberian International Circuit, Sedona Raceway, Sunset Peninsula, Sebring, and then Camino Vallo. Let's get going. Oh my gosh, we're in a Prius. Hey, no worries, crew. Appreciate you uh, stopping by. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is such a weird car. Like, the Prius... <sighs> I... A lot of people hate on the Prius because it's the Prius, but I, I I give it a solid 5 out of 10. It's not amazing. It's not shit. It's just meh. It's just meh. That should be the same of my life. It's just, eh, uh, it's just meh. That's my catchphrase. Oh, shit. That wasn't great. <laughs> I think I want to get one of those, um, there's a company that does, like, the controller hacking devices and whatnot. Uh, there's a company that makes those, but they also make one that's a converter for steering wheels, so that you can use, say, a G920 on any platform. You can use it on a PlayStation, you can use it on a Nintendo if you wanted to. But uh, I'm, I'm very tempted to order one, just so I can use wheel on this, or potentially even use wheel on, uh, what's it called? Gran Turismo 7. I need to get a wheel for Gran Turismo 7 at some point. But I've also got to get a setup. I need to get a setup that I can actually use it. Because I've got no space for... Well, here's what I'm planning. And I'm planning to do, like, sort of what Jimmy Broadbent did. So, to have a setup in the corner. And use that as, like, everything. Even when playing Call of Duty, sit in the sim cockpit. Um, only because of the fact that... I want to use my wheel. Let's try out the PSVR 2 for Grand Turismo 7. I think it's going to look awesome. I haven't tried it yet. I think with with the tech that's in PSVR 2, the fact that it's 120 hertz, which looks amazing, and the fact that it's high quality. I mean, I've done Dirt Rally 2.0 in VR, and that's not even a super high quality game, and that is so much fun. I can imagine Gran Turismo is going to look phenomenal. With all the effort that they put into it as well. It must do. Like, there's no way it can't. So. But yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be a cool one. And this is the Kaido Warrior. We get to pick a car for this one. Of course I'm going to pick the Skyline. The Skyline is a good car. I like it. I think it's better than the Supra anyways. I like the Skyline. And I'm going to take it in white as well. I like a white Skyline. I think they're quite nice. Look at my bottle as well. It's black and yellow. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, but... um, Oh, what was I saying? The setup. I want to have like a permanent setup. Like sim setup. Where 
I've got my main monitors in front of me. I'll have another monitor either to the side or above. I haven't decided that yet. Um, it would probably be to the side. And I'll probably get like a double monitor clamp that I can clamp on and have like the two monitors. The wheel will be there. But then I'll also have... Um, I want to make like a sort of slide-in desk kind of thing that can sort of just house my keyboard and a mouse that I can then use and just, I don't know, use it as a normal computer setup. Just a really laid back, relaxed computer setup, which I normally lay back and relax anyways when I'm using this. But it's just not comfortable where my setup is. So I think it would make everything a million times better, actually. Whoa! Right up the inside there. Dum dum dum. Ba 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 na ba ba na ba ba. Ba na ma na ma na ba na ma na ma na ba na ma ma na ba na ma ma na. Go, go, go! Yeah, Gran Turismo 7, I'm... I'm disappointed about Gran Turismo 7 just because of the fact that it's... It's not what I was expecting. Um, I, I enjoyed it initially, but the aftermath, after you finish the menus, there is nothing to do. And because of how they structure the game, there's no way you can replay the menus or anything like that. It, it just doesn't work. It's very poorly structured as a game with progression. The progression doesn't work. And I mean, they've tried it. It's not worked. I'm hoping that they make Gran Turismo 8 and it's a little bit like Gran Turismo 6, for example. I would like for them to make another one during this life cycle. Take Gran Turismo 7, just imagine that it didn't exist and make a new Gran Turismo 8 with more cars, more tracks, more races, and an actual proper progression. And they could they could get away with making another one this generation. I doubt they will. It'll probably be another 10 years before the next one. Because they'll be trying to push 7. Because they took so long for that. But then they took forever with Gran Turismo 5. And then they made another one two years after that. So. Yeah. The amount of time that you have to grind to get credits is unreal. Like, a McLaren F1 shouldn't take almost 30 hours to get the credits to unlock it. Not at all. No way. Nah. <laughs> I'm back, motherfuckers. Zeno died with his phone. His phone died and he had to wait for it to turn back on. That, that is what happened. I want to know your name. What's your name? This is a good song. Honestly, no song can be better than Swedish House Mafia's new song. Uh, I think if Swedish House Mafia can top it, the new song that they've just made, then... Wow. Because <laughs> it was bed till 120. <laughs> oh, that's great. I do need to... Um, I found a YouTube video. It's, it's sort of what's sort of inspiring me to do this shit so I saw a YouTube video of someone that's made like a homemade rig out of wood um, and that's the kind of style I want to do I want to get like some treated wood so no splinters or nothing um, and just build a rig that can house my wheel
My room's too small, which is why it's too small for me to have a setup that I put stuff in, pull it out, and whatnot. So I want it so that it's set up so that the wheel is permanently there, the PC is out the way, and all the other cables and everything is tucked out the way, and then I just have... I pull in like a small desk over the sim rig that then has or like a like a drawer that pulls out and it's got space that I can put my keyboard and my mouse on. Or even if I can't be bothered making that and I just use a tray as my desk where my keyboard and then a mouse goes, that also is fine. But I just want a setup that is, you know, somewhat more permanent. Because this is not, this setup's not comfortable at the moment for me. It's not comfortable at all. This chair's on its way out, like the base is. So the plan is to repurpose this. I'm going to take the wheels off. The wheels will go and I'll bolt it, this chair, onto the rig. And I'll then have, like a ring. I'll take the sides off as well, so it is just a chair. That is the plan. And if it all works, woohoo, lovely. If it doesn't work, oh well, we tried. It's not like a chair is too expensive anyways. I'll just sit on the floor. <laughs> Attempt number two, woohoo. I didn't actually have to re-record a single race in Motorsport 3. Luckily enough. The only times I had to re-record were when I had technical issues. And that wasn't down to me coming second or anything like that. This game already had to start again. Woohoo! Fun. <laughs> but yeah, um... I'm very excited to progress through this game. <laughs> now nah, this take one. Oh yeah, sorry. No, no. This this is definitely the first take. For anyone watching the video, this is this is the first take. You you don't need to know that I had three, four, five takes. <laughs> no more skill issues. You're banned from having skill issues. You must be perfect. My precious. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, what's it called? What was I saying? Focus up. Ah, foc get it? Because there's Ford Focus isn't... No. It's a terrible joke. Terrible joke. If you win this race, you get a Big Mac. Now you've got to win. <gasps> I get a Big Mac? Are you telling me you're going to Uber Eats me a Big Mac if I win this? Fuck yeah. I won't say no to a Big Mac. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited. I know we've only just started Motorsport 4, but I'm very excited to finish it. Only because of the fact, A, I'll be able to say I've finished Motorsport 4 100%. Which, not a lot of people can say that because it is such a big game. And B, because then I get to start on some of the Horizon games. And I, I've been craving playing Horizon 1 and Horizon 2. Really bad. And also, surprisingly, as much as I hated on it, Motorsport 5. I'm really kind of excited to play Motorsport 5. So, I don't know. But yeah, we, we are playing through every single Forza game as part of my mega series that I'm doing. Motorsport 1 is done. Motorsport 2 is done. Motorsport 3 is done. Again, I didn't think I'd be saying that. Because I thought I would have given up midway through. Which I almost did, but I didn't. I came back. So. Motorsport 3 is done. Motorsport 4. Well. We're in the middle of right now. Uh, I, there's no way in hell I can do every Gran Turismo. Only because Gran Turismo 1 to 3... 
Dreadful. I don't like them. Gran Turismo 4. Amazing game. Super difficult, though, and it would absolutely piss me off. Gran Turismo 5. Good game. Gran Turismo 6. Amazing. I've already 100%ed it anyways. Uh, and then Gran Turismo 7. Boring. So... <laughs> I'd be in a very difficult position to try and complete all the Gran Turismo games. That's why I want to do all the F1 games, because it's easy to do. I can just sit there and go around every track, and then next one. Because there's no obligation to win that, because of how the series... It would make sense if I did the series. F123 is... I've just thrown my controller across the room. Lovely. But yeah, F123 is an amazing game. Like, hands down. I love it. But yeah, I'm on 85% uh, difficulty. Which is in the expert category, technically. But I, I'm really, really enjoying playing F1. And because of the fact that it runs on Steam Deck so well, like, you... You think they struggled and tried really hard to get F1 running at 30 FPS on the old Xbox 360. And then on Xbox One, they were like, oh yeah, we're pushing for 60. I can run F1 23, 60 FPS on the PC version on my Steam Deck. 60 frames a second. That was dog -like. <laughs> So when I'm at work, for example, I'll sit at work on my break and I'll play F123. And it is so good. It's so good. So much fun. For anyone who hasn't used or seen a Steam Deck, don't. Don't look at them. Don't use them. Because as soon as you do, you're going to buy one. Because it changed... It, honestly, since I bought it... Fuck you. Dickhead. Since <laughs> since I bought my Steam Deck, I haven't used my PC nearly as much. I'll play games on my PC maybe two, three hours a week at the most. I'll use my Steam Deck for about 24 hours a week. Like, I'll quite easily play a shit ton of games on the Steam Deck. Tell me how you pretty much have my dad's exact music taste. Because I have a fucking good music taste. So, anyone that has a similar music taste to me gets along really fucking good. I didn't expect to hit super massive black hole in your playlist. Anything in my playlist is like vibes. It's just vibes and stuff. Anything that you can listen to, vibe to, it's on here. Hence why there's quite a lot of gorillas on here as well. But a, a lot of the songs are like top hits that I used to hear as a kid and whatnot. And obviously Supermassive Black Hole muses in quite a few racing games with their soundtracks. So, you know, put in a few songs from Muse that are actually really good. There's some block party songs on here, again from racing games, but I've got some songs of theirs that aren't in racing games that are really good as well. Blog Party is amazing. Super good. But yeah, this stream playlist has been... Well, I started this stream playlist about a year ago now. I think it was in June last year. And obviously we're now in July of this year. Oh no, we're in August now. Shit. So about a year and a month ago, I made this playlist and... It, I've just been adding banger after banger after banger and we're now at where we are now Also, I think that's our championship done it was Really fucking quick. So thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe And I will see you in the next one. Peace out <laughs>